everybody. Welcome back to another ginormous book haul. I'm going to get right into it. There was a billion. I got The Enchanter Air by Cinda Williams Chima. Another book to add to my Chima collection. Very excited. I think it's the fourth book. Yay. The one by Kier Cass. Didn't get the second one because I don't like it, but I liked the first one and the last one. Vivian Apple at the Ed of the World by Katie Coyle. I have the second book of the series and also the audiobook so I can read along. These are all my young adult books, by the way. The Essence and the Offering by Kimberly Durting. These are books two and three of the Pledge series. House of Many Ways by Diana Wynne Jones. This is a sequel to House Moving Castle. Fathomless by Jackson Pierce. This is part of his fairy tale retelling series. Darkness, Strange, and Lovely by Susan Dennard. This is, I think, the third book. Salt of the Sea by Ruta Sepetis. Radiant Shadows by Melissa Marr. The Glass Casket by McCormick Templeman. Vivian Apple Needs a Miracle by Katie Coyle. Geography of Me and You by Jennifer E. Smith. And Etiquette and Espionage by Carol Garriger. Beast by Donna Jo Napoli, which is a Beauty and the Beast retelling. Talking to Dragons by Patricia C. Reed, book four of the Enchanted Forest Chronicles. Final book to finish off my Princess Diaries collection, A Royal Wedding by Meg Cabot. On the Fence by Casey West. Elzar by Meg Wolitzer. Cracks in the Kingdom, a sequel to A Corner of White by Jacqueline Moriarty. Fairy Ground Wish by Beth Bracken and Kay Frazier. Reckless by Cornelia Funk. Troll Mill and Troll Blood, both by Catherine Langrish. Time Traveling Fashionista by Bianca Turetsky. Color by Juliet Morelia. This is the third book in the Shadowfell trilogy. Next, on to some adult books. Ready Player One by... Ernest Klein. I finally, finally have a copy. I'm so excited. A little Christmas, early Christmas gift from my dad, Because of Bethlehem by Max Lucado. Guilty Pleasures by Laurel K. Hamilton. And The Nightingale by Kristen Hanna. Next, we're going on to some children's books. The Spiderwick Chronicles, Goblin's Attack. The Spiderwick Chronicles, Book 5, The Wrath of Mulgrath. Billy Bedelia and the Surprise Shower by... Peggy Parrish and Barbara Seabell Thomas. Spaghetti, I say, by Rita Golden Gelman and Mort Gerberg. Treasury of Peter Rabbit and Other Stories by Beatrix Potter. The Princess in Black by Shannon Hale and Dean Hale. Good Work, Amelia Bedelia by Peggy Parrish and Lynn Sweat. Merlin and the Making of a King, retold by Margaret Hodges, illustrated by Trina Schwartz Hyman. The Berenstein Bears Week at Grandma's by Stan and Jane Berenstein. Eloise. And Eloise in Paris by Kay Thompson. The Girl Who Wouldn't Brush Her Hair by Kate Bernheimer and Jake Parker. Stories of Santa from Hallmark. Next, a few middle grade. Anybody's by N.E. Bodie. The Strange Library by Haruki Mur Murakami. And I'm not sure if this is a middle grade or not, just my guess. Nicholas St. North and the Battle of the Nightmare King by William Joyce and Laura Geringer. This is book one of the Guardians series. And The Hero's Guide to Storming the Castle by Christopher Healy. Finally, thanks for hanging in, we have some manga and graphic novels. And then I have an unboxing at the end. It's very exciting. First I have volumes one and two of Zelda Ocarina of Time. I have a graphic novel called Mercury by Hope Larson. Alice in the Country of Hearts by Quinn Rose and Sume Hoshino. Awkward by Sa Svetlana Chmakova. Amulet Book 3, The Cloud Searchers, Daybreak by Brian Ralph, this Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, Graphic Novel by Ransom Riggs and Cassandra Jean, Remedy Jack by Shannon, Dean Hale, and Nathan Hale, New Moon by Carlos Trillo and Eduardo Riso. Finally, for a special manga unboxing, I'm very excited. I've been waiting forever to open this. So what I was going to say before my camera abruptly cut off is I got volumes... One through nine of the Oran High School Host Club manga. I've actually read all of these um, online before, but I really enjoyed it. It's my favorite anime, and I really enjoyed the manga too because it added more to the story, obviously. So I'll show you all the covers really quick. It has such a great cast of characters, and I really enjoy this manga, so that's why... When I saw it on eBay, the first nine volumes, I got really excited. Hi, so I actually have a couple more unboxings for this book haul, and I'm super excited, so I'm going to open them right now. It's got one of those cool side tabby things. 
I'm so excited about this, guys. I hope it's what I think it is. <gasps> yes! Okay, so this is the first official Disney Princess comic strips collection. Can we just look, appreciate that cover right now? I just, yes. Um, this is done by Amy Meverson. If you didn't know, um, Amy Meverson is amazing. She has a Facebook page called Pocket Princesses that she used to do like a one panel um, comic strip with the Disney princesses every week on Facebook and it's amazing. I've read all of them and they're hilarious and amazing and this is like a spin-off of that kind of but it's like officially licensed and it's in print and it's amazing and I am so excited to read it. I was holding out until um, it got from comic form to trade paperback form so I could have it all together and it's floppy and it's beautiful and this is, um, contains the first four comics of the Disney Princess, uh, comics, uh, books. So, I'm gonna read this, like, today or, like, very soon in the next couple days, hopefully, because I've been waiting forever to read this and thank you so much, Amy Memberson, for all you do and your hard work and I... Cannot wait. So moving on from that gush, um, we now have a book of the month unboxing. Um, I wasn't going to do book of the month because most of the books that were they were having on there, like I wasn't really interested in, and it was like books I'd never really heard of. But they were doing like a five dollar try it out deal thing, and so I decided. I was gonna try it. I was hoping that I was going to get a, a tote bag because I heard that was the like in your first box you ever got you ever went and got a tote bag. I didn't get a tote bag. Um, I did get after book mints, so that's pretty cute. And I got um, the Wonder by Emma Donahue, who wrote the book Room, which I have not read yet. Um, but I also got a bookmark too, so, and it's in a hardback, so for five bucks, it was a good deal to try it out, and it came quickly, and it's shrink wrapped, so it's in pristine condition, and I'm looking forward to trying this one out. I've heard good things about it, so that's it for my book haul, hopefully this time, guys. See you next time. Bye!